Hello everyone. Today I will be talking about a problem based on simultaneous observation. This question came in the month of January 2024 for submit phase one navigation paper. The question is on GMT 16 Jan 1992, 23 hours 39 minutes 38 seconds, an observer from a vessel observed two simultaneous observations as follows. Number one, through altitude of Venus, 19 degree, 37.8 minute east of the meridian. Number two, 16 altitude of the moon's upper limb, 83 degree, 25.6 minute azimuth south. Find the position of the vessel at this time. Index error, 2.1 minutes on the arc, height of I, 12 meter. Now, GMT is given as 16 on 16 Jan 1992, 2300 hours, 39 minutes, 38 seconds. This is a simultaneous observation. There is both sides are taken at the same time. Simultaneous observation of Moon and Venus. No method is mentioned here to solve this problem. So, I have given here some hint how to solve and how to identify the problem. The moon's azimuth is given south and it is on the observer's meridian. So whenever a question like this, check for words like azimuth is north, there is bearing 00 degree north or south, there is bearing 180 degree, mark pass or crossing the observer's meridian. Solve it by latitude, by meridian, altitude, the outlet is not required for this method and latitude obtained will be the fixed latitude. So after finding out the fixed latitude, use this fixed lead for Venus observation and solve it by long by crown method and fixed long will be obtained. So for the second observation, there is moon. Section altitude, there is upper limb is given as 80. 83 degree 25.6 minute index error on there is 2.1 minute so if you subtract you get the observed altitude as 83 degree 23.5 minutes and deep there is a height of is 12 meter and you refer to the almanac on the first phase for 12 meter it is 6.1 and if you subtract this 6.1 from the observed altitude you will get apparent altitude there is 83 degree 17.4 minute. So for the main correction, there is you look into the almanac on the last page. Altitude correction of the moon. And apparent altitude, there is 83 degree 17.4. And the corresponding Main correction is 17.3 and the, in the same column down below look for the upper column and for 60.1 there is HP 60.1 is 3.3 if you add all together you get 83 degree 38 minute and then you have to subtract upper limb correction there is 30 minutes then you get through altitude is 83 degree 0, 08 minutes south. If you subtract this through altitude uh, from 90 degree, you will get MJD, that is meridian zenith distance, is 06 degree 52 minutes north. And if MJD and declination are of same name, then we have to add together. If they are of different name, then difference, then we have to subtract. So here, MJD and decla declination are of same name, so there is why we add together. We got the latitude as 31 degree 41 minute north. Why I have taken to altitude as south is, is given in the question. Azimuth south. So, through altitude bearing will be south and MJD will be name opposite to it. And declination, we have calculated here declination. Referring to the 16 January 
Okay, from the almanac, declination for moon is 24 degree, 48.3 north, and the correction is 1. So you have to add 0 0.7 minutes. So you get declination as 24 degree, 49.0 north. So declination north, MJD north, you add together, you get the latitude. GS also, referring from the Almanac on 16 January, that is GSA is going to 27 degree 12.7 minute increment from the increment table 9 degree 27.4 minute. B correction is 3.3. For 3.3 is 2.2 minutes. So you add together GSA is 36 degree 42.3 minutes. So in this figure, in this figure, resonant horizon diagram is drawn. East, North, West, South, and WQE is equinoxial. And this black one, D, 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 D is declension second of moon. In the figure, true altitude is equal to SX. From here to here, horizon to the body is true altitude. Sira to X-ray. And ZX, ZX, Z2 body is MZD, meridional zenith distance, and QX, Q to X, cubic to X ray. This is declination. Declination circle of moon, that is D, D dias. This one is declination circle of moon. So latitude of observer, that is NP. November to Papa, this is latitude of the observer, is, is also equal to ZQ, ZQ, that is latitude of the observer, NP is equal to ZQ, this ZQ, ZQ is also equal to ZX plus QX, ZX, that is meridional zenith distance we have calculated here, there is 6 degree 52 minute, and the declination we have calculated here, 24 degree 49.0 minute north. So Z2Q, if you add together, you get the latitude as 31 degree 41 minute north. Now we got the latitude. We will use this latitude in the observation of Venus. Venus through altitude is given as 19 degree 37.8 minute, which is east of the meridian. TZD is equal to 90 degree minus true altitude. So we get TZD as 70 degree 22.2 minutes. So referring to the almanac on 16 Jan 1992, GSA of Venus is 201 degree 36.5 minute. Increment is 9 degree 54.5 minute. B is, B correction is minus 0 0.8. So for 0 0.8 is uh, 0 0.5 minutes. So you add together and then you subtract this uh, 0 0.5 and GSA or Venus is to 11 degree 30.5 minutes. Declination is 21 degree 30.0 south. Decorrection is 0 0.3 and for 0 0.3 it is 0 0.2 minutes. So if you add together, you get the declination as 21 degree 30.2 minutes south. So, using long by cron method, that is a long by cron formula is cos of p is equal to sine through altitude plus minus sine of lead into sine of declination divided by cos of lead into cos of declination. So, in this formula, I have written as plus because and if latitude and declination are same, then we uh, subtract trinary names, then add. Here, declination is south. Latitude is north. So they are of contrary names, different names. So we add, an, so the plus sign is put cap here. Substitute the values of true altitude, then the latitude, uh, sign of latitude, and then sign of dec declination. And then you simplify this equation, and then we get below of P as 48 degree 07.6 minute. S, 
Venus is on east of the meridian. Therefore, LSA is equal to 360 degree minus P. So LSA is equal to 360 degree minus P. That is 48 degree 07.6 minute is equal to 311 degree 52.4 minute. We also know that GSA plus East Longitude is going to LSA. So GSA, we have already calculated here 211 degree 30.5. So GSA 211 degree 30.5 minute plus East Longitude is going to LSA. That is LSA is going to 311 degree 52.4 minute. So if if this uh, if this goes on this side, so three one one degree fifty two point four minus two one one degree thirty point five, we get the long as hundred degree twenty one point nine minute east. Therefore, the position of the vessel is thirty one degree forty one point zero north, hundred degree twenty one point nine minute east. Hope you have understood the sum. Thank you for watching this video.